All right, how's everyone doing? Uh, welcome to From Z to A, Alphabetical Interviews with Zach Anderson. I am Zach Anderson. Uh, today we are here at White House Productions in Shelton for the seventh edition of Monsters of Acoustic Rock. And my guest tonight is Blake Bassett. Hello, everyone. So thank you so much for being on the show. You're welcome. And uh, <laughs> so now I'm going to ask you the difficult questions as long as they have something to do with the letters of your name. <laughs> okay. Uh, so we'll start, we'll start with B. Uh, bring me back to the beginning. Uh, how did you... Uh, get into the music scene, uh, what is your musical background? Okay, well I mean, I've been listening to, like, my, my mom is a huge music guru. Mm -hmm. Like, I grew up listening to the Carpenters and all the, like, you know, ABBA, all this crazy 70s music, mostly U2, though. Mm -hmm. We love U2. Right. Um, but yeah, like, I've always, music has always been a huge part of my life. And, I, and like, I started the band program mm -hmm. in the fifth grade, and then, like, I broke my baritone, and I thought everything was all over, but it wasn't. Mm -hmm. and, <laughs> and I really started getting into songwriting, um, when I started playing guitar, like seventh grade, um, yeah. So then, like, I, I wrote my first song at summer camp about this uh, this boy who uh, we were supposed to go to the camp dance together, oh. but uh, it, it's a very rich camp. Mm -hmm. um, like, like mommy and daddy are like mommy's a doctor and daddy's a lawyer. So his dad got him tickets to like the Dead Mouth like concert. So you you know that DJ that wears a huge yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So he's like, Why dad got me tickets? And then he doesn't tell me until like hours before oh. we're supposed to go. I was like my eyes broken hearted. Oh. And like I went I, we were doing like a guitar camp so I was like, Alright, I'm gonna like write a song and in anger and like <laughs> <laughs> and, and there we go. And that that's how it started and I have been writing stuff ever since. Alright. Uh, speaking of that, uh, when you do write lyrics, are there any specific themes that you enjoy writing about, or uh, you find easier to write about than others? Um, I mean, I'm gonna like pull the Taylor Swift and mm -hmm. be like, <laughs> and be like, my ex-boyfriend. No, but like, okay, and no offense to your Taylor Swift. Mm -hmm. I mean, she's she's kind of good. She's getting Tom Hiddleston. Like, she doesn't need oh. anything else. Okay. <laughs> um, like, <laughs> yeah. No, I, I I like to pull from like a lot of things. Um, my, like, my favorite thing to do is, like, um, like find a story, mm -hmm. uh, maybe not, like, that I've written, but then, like, kind of meld it into, like, my own, like, tell, like, sing the story, but, like, in the way I want it to be sung, and, like, also with a, some corporations I like to put in there, like, my little spin on things, but, like, that, that's the way I like to do it, or, like, I come up with a story, and I just, like, sing about this person in like me ter kind of terms, but it's not like actually me. Right. You, you, you know how to I gotcha. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like that's really, that's really how I, I do things. And I start out usually with um, like chords first or like a melody, mm -hmm. and then I just work words into there, or like whatever like cops into my head, like I'll write it down, or that's usually how things work out in right. Lakeland. Alright. <laughs> Uh, how much does an audience influence uh, your set? Do uh, you start off with like a specific set list, and then uh, depending on how uh, do you just stick stick with that, or does it like do you just go with the flow, uh, depending on how they react to certain songs? I just go. I just literally like pick a set list. I'm like, I'm doing this, 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 this. I'm done. All right. We out. <laughs> and then like, <laughs> it's like I'm still not over the whole like stage fright thing. It's not like mm -hmm. a stage fright, but it's more like, like, I'm afraid that people won't like, like the stuff that like I put out there. It's like a lot of the stuff I write, I'm really like putting myself out there and like, cause it, a lot of stuff I write is very personal, you know? Right. Like it's things that I come up with and like, you know, things that like, um, like my songs are heavily influenced by things that have happened to me, but like, yes, like there's stories about like other people or something like that. But again, I'm writing it and it's a huge, like, I don't know, soul risk, I guess, <laughs> to really put yourself out there, you know? It, right. it, it's scary, but, you know, I, I'll get over it someday. I'll be like 26, be like, whatever, I'm just going to play a song. There you go. What kind of guitars do you own, and what other instruments uh, do you play? Um, my baby is that uh, little Martin over there. Okay. Um, it's a three-quarter size guitar, because whenever I play, like, normal size guitars, like, I'm, like, an orangutan. Mm -hmm. And I'm like to like reach over the body of the guitar to actually play it, which is like mm -hmm. no, I, I hate doing. <laughs> um, I have a Franciscan, which I it was I think it was my uncle's, but he took like crap care of it. So I painted it blue, and like I put all these designs on it, and it's really nice. I like it because the neck is really it's really thin. It's nice. It's actually easier to bar chords on there. Um, I also have an Epiphone again, just normal acoustic Epiphone. What else do I have? Um, I have an electric guitar, it's old, I don't know where it came from, 
<laughs> can't even tell you the brand. Sorry, guys. Um, I play piano. I play. I mean, my primary for school is French horn. So um, I play trumpet, and jazz band, senior year. Um, I play a couple low brass instruments. Like it's gotten to the point where, like, you name it, I play. Oh yeah, saxophone, flute. Hmm. I have a lot of time on my hands. <laughs> time is good. It's kind of sad. Oh. Yeah, that's 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 like All the right. extent. All right. Uh, so tell me about your most recent EP. Oh yeah, that came out in like February of last year. Um, it was just like uh, a couple of songs that I did, and then like a few a few covers. It wasn't like anything big, but yeah, it was called um, Heartbeat, and it's on Bandcamp. If anyone wants to download it, you know, share it with your friends, family, all that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, I, I've been I've, work, I've been working on an album for like four years. Mm -hmm. um, to be called Here Is. Um, I don't know when it's coming out, I don't know when, <laughs> I don't know, but like I've really been working really, really hard lately to get some sort of something out there. That's right. that's my goal. Yeah. And then there's the thing I did with you. That is true. I <laughs> smile too. So Link that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I had uh, I had her sing on one of my uh, songs recently, and it uh, well basically uh, I'll tell a story about you on my uh, on your show, but yeah. um, <laughs> so. Um, I heard her on the radio, and uh, she was on Connecticut Rocks, and uh, as soon as I heard her voice, I was like, wow, I need to have this person on, it was like the right exact, like the exact uh, style I wanted. And then I asked her, and she said yes, and uh, we just- Here we are! Yeah! <laughs> um, but yeah, it, it came out amazing, so check it out. I smile too. Um, and uh, let's see, um, what has been your um, best or um, uh, favorite moment so far of your music career? <laughs> It's probably like the first show that like I ever did because um, I, I never like I, it was at the room. I don't do you, do you remember like with uh, I think his name was Vern and the guy who ran it, but it was in Woodbridge. Um, it, like mm -hmm. it closed down. <clears throat> excuse me. And I think like maybe like six months ago, it's because like, no one's going. Like that's right. the other thing with like live music. Yeah. Like it's so unless you're like super popular, it's so hard to get a place to go and play. Even though like I know so many. Amazing, amazing right. singer songwriters, but like if you just don't have the connections, it's hard. But yeah, it was like anyway, it was <laughs> it was it was my first show. I was like seventeen. It was I was like freaking out, and I go there and like I a lot of like I still wasn't very confident in the stuff that I was seeing, so I had to like like write everything down and like print it out and like keep it in front of me, and, like cheat cheat. <laughs> Uh, my friend recorded some of it and I put it on my Facebook page and I was like, oh my god, great, good job. I mean, the only people that came were like my friend and then like my like my boyfriend at the time. And I was there just like, woo, and there was like three other people there. And, like, <laughs> hey, you know what, that's, that's, no, that's it's great. the start, it's the exactly. start. <laughs> Alright, and uh, I like to end all my interviews with uh, three interesting or random facts about yourself that many people might not know. Let's see here. Um, today I learned how to say cheese in French because I've been harassing my sister about it for weeks and she still won't tell me so my dad told me and it's Brie. Um, <laughs> and, <laughs> or Brie, I'm not completely sure. I have a very horrible French accent as you can see. Hmm. My favorite food is sushi and the third random fact about me is I can like hold my breath for like 15 seconds. Oh. Yeah. Not bad. Lung capacity. That helps. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much for being on the show. Well, thanks for having um, me. You're it's great. <laughs> uh, if you'd like to check out Blake, uh, visit the link below. And uh, now we'll cut to a performance from Blake Bassett. So uh, thank you again, and uh, we'll see you next time. All right.